Okay. So this is going to be a video about, we'll say, we'll say as many as we can get out. Okay. Your top 10 things, maybe five, <laughs> that we think you should know when traveling five from things? in Boquete on the inter, what is it called? Five the inter? Interior. But what do you guys, you guys think of what? Inter-American. Can you be quiet? I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> Daddy, tell me. So, Seriously, zoom in. One thing you should be aware of. Go ahead, zoom in right here, my arm. The puck. I can't I'm zoom in. Well, let me. I'm like right, show right here, real close. Okay. Right there on my arm, if you can see it. Oh wow. That nice, beautiful red spot. I don't think I can see that. Okay, so that right there is a bite. It's not from a mosquito. It's from a chitres. And I didn't do it either. <laughs> it's a. It's from a chitres. It's a super duper 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 teeny tiny little less than mosquito but it leaves a big old bite for like a week so what can you do about it mommy what can we do about g3 so one tip someone gave me a long time ago when we first moved to panama was before, um, and after. before and after is a banana peel so you take you and bananas are a dime a dozen so you get that and that'll help with the itching but then what we also do is um i just do a mix of coconut oil and tea tree oil to kind of treat it but I don't know of a way it can actually get past it. You kind of just have to figure out how to treat it. And then one thing we used to get, our daughter used to get them all over, all over her face when she was a baby. And I don't know if it's from the milk that she was drinking because we were nursing. But so what we would do in that regard is we would use, um, I end up getting these little deet bracelets. I know deet's not the best, so whatever. But I would put them around her, around her play yard. And that seemed like to be the only thing that stopped her from getting bit up all over her face. Tip number two that we just passed that you should know about when traveling on the inner Pan American Highway. Is that it? Coconut. Yeah, this so time. The Got one. It. The one and the only. This is one way to get, this is the way we get from Bo, well, Boquete David to Panama City or Coronado or Nueva Gorgana. So this is the road you take. Um, but other than Chitres, one thing we just passed by was the police officer, Policia. Why is that important? Uh, well, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the speed limit. The speed limit here is in kilometers. Kids, can you say kilometers? Kilometers! That's right. Not miles. My, my awesome Americans and, uh, and Australians and... Okay, I don't know what you guys use over there, so I'll stick with America. It's not in miles per hour. It's in kilometers per hour. So you want to make sure that you are adhering to the speed limit. If not... You could face being pulled over and given a ticket, or you could, uh, how can I say this politely, you could be asked to pay a tip. Well, and here's the thing. Get out of it. You can't technically get a ticket, though, as an extranjero. Um, as an extranjero. 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 I like it. Sorry, I'm chewing on gum. It's really rude. I won't do that next time. Um, but an extranjero is basically a tourist. It, well, it's someone from another country, an expat, expatriate. If you don't know the definition... Google it. But you can't technically get a ticket, I thought, right? Yeah, I think you have to, uh, a Panamanian has to get the ticket for you or you get your car impounded or something. Yeah, something Check like that attorney. happens. Get an attorney. Check with your attorney. This is really important. You really do need to have your, your own attorney. Okay, so you will have to be careful on the Inter-Pan American Highway traveling. For Watch out for police officers. They check you with the little t t ticket gun. What are they called? Radar gun. Radar gun. That's it, you know. And so that's really important because they will be on this road. Especially, it seems like once you get to like the halfway point. Kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. Let me see if we can get this for you guys. Hopefully that comes through clear. Kilometers per hour. Hopefully you got it. So pay attention to that. It's really important because it'll drop. Um, and then two, there's going to be the driving signs and things like that. We'll show you. Maybe we can show you one of the driving signs. But just pay attention. Know some of your basic signs. And some stuff you'll just learn. As you go. There's also checkpoints on the um, inter... Is it Inter-Pan American Highway? Uh, you can just call it Pan American Highway. Pan American Highway. There's also going to be checkpoints. And we hit... From Boquete, we hit two checkpoints. Because there's one in Boquete. And there's one here on the Pan American Highway. Like, right now, we're in Pananome. So, those are your two. I don't think there's any more. Unless they do... Sometimes they do, like, routine ones. Randomly. Depending on the time of year and what they're looking for. Especially in Panama City. Oh, yeah, especially in Panama City. And don't try to run from those. Stay in line. <laughs> go for it. Don't don't try leaving. Okay, what else? They'll get you. Uh, they could get you. That's about all I can think of as far as driving, uh, with the exception oh, of... They could kill you. 
Why? I hope not. <laughs> they look like they're gonna kill you because they got a machine gun on them. <laughs> oh, it's the ones that ride motor motorcycles. Okay. There's one more ship, uh, tip I'm gonna one more ship I'm going to share. One more tip I'm gonna share, <laughs> and then the kids are gonna share tips. Do you see my legs? Can you see that? I hope you can see that. That's hot, and um, the sun's gonna be beating on you <laughs> when you're driving. Just prepare for that because it's so hot. It can get so hot. Like right now, we're sweating, and we've got the air conditioner on low because I mean it's only gonna get but so cool. So anyway, just something to think about. Unless you're driving something brand new, maybe it's a different experience. All right, kids. All right, go ahead, Israel. What is one thing that you want a child to know um, about tra the traveling back and forth, like we have today from Boquete to Nuevo Gorgana? Are you talking about the guy from? Yes. Okay. Well, would tell me, tell us about your experience with that guy. And now it's supposed to be a. It, we're talking about. You're talking about staying in a hotel. What's the beauty of that staying in hotels? You don't know what happens in hotels. Some people don't always know what happens in hotels. Nobody it's true. Knows so okay. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite guy. I talk louder. Like who? My What did you like about Mr. Carlos? That you, the nice guy that you might meet at a hotel. Um, what I liked about it was I got you right up. I got you right up. That thing. That, oh, the golf cart? Um, it was probably, um, it was probably, uh, it was this probably a golf that cart. suitcase thing. Oh, you got to ride in the, su the suitcase. Yeah, I did. Let you ride in the suitcase carrier. Yep, you think very nice. Okay. I asked. Cool. That was nice. Okay. So you can meet nice people in the hotels. Zion, what was something that? What's something you want another child to know about when traveling in the car from Okete to Panama City or somewhere else? You get a toy. You get a toy. Okay. Sorry, guys. We're bumpy. Welcome to the Inter American American Highway. Um, so you can get a toy here. Yeah, but what's something that you what's something that you experienced here that you really want people to know about? Um, oh, you meet new friends at hotels. Mm -hmm. What about driving? Is there anything about driving that you liked or did not like? Got like a lot louder. I didn't like anything about driving. You didn't like anything about the drive. No. You just like the hotel. Okay. Okay, so apparently hotels are a big win. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Last one, go ahead. Also, just so you know, kids, so, uh, back there, you can find windmills, and um, that means you're <laughs> that's really cool that's a good point so that is kind of our marker that hey keep pushing through right yeah. it's almost done so these are the windmills this is when you know you're in Pananome these are the wind turbines this works with electricity right and there's a whole like whole field of them it's always good to have like things to sorry that was like really bad things to point the kids' attention to. And then of course there's the visit to Price Mart. You can stop there to get yourself an ice cream cone, a pack of water, anything you can imagine in Price Mart and everybody else will be there to meet you too. And oh yeah, over there's the eatery. Pizza specials, burger specials, whatever it is that you're looking for. So stop on by and get yourself a cone at Price Mart.